I'm going to be doing an update on my Finish 5 by Cinco de Mayo. I already did my intro video about a month ago, a little bit more than a month ago, and I know this is just a couple of days early, but I wanted to go ahead and film this now because I didn't figure I would have time before I actually hit February 5th, so I figured I might as well show you guys my progress now so that I can get that up for you so you can at least see in a mostly timely manner. It's February 2nd today, so we have about three months left of this project, and I will show you guys where I'm at. So the first thing that I have are perfume samples. So these are more than, there's more than five here, obviously, so this is kind of a collection of stuff. Um, I started in this little candle jar that I transformed. I have right now seven perfume samples. I think I said I had 13 in my intro video and I actually found one more in one of my drawers. So I've used up half of them so far. So I will definitely have those used up before May and that way I can get back to my regular perfumes. I will say that when I'm using these, if I do not like the smell, I'm not gonna try to force myself to use them all up. I had one yesterday that I really didn't like that gave me a headache when I wore it. So I decided to just wear it that one time and be done with it. And then I have, I had a Jouer perfume oil that was just way too florally and it's not my type of scent and I really didn't like it so I decided to get rid of that as well. So as I go through these, the purpose of these perfume samples is to decide if I like the perfume or not. So if I hate it on the first try, I'm not going to force myself to use it up. There have been a couple that I found that I really loved and I mentioned one of those in my favorites yesterday but generally if I don't like them I'm not going to force myself to use them. So. I have seven left here. I will definitely have those done. I would assume that I at least have three or so more done by my next update. Next up is a face product. I have the Vasanti Brighten Up Enzymatic Face Rejuvenator. And this one was about half full when I started this and now it is about down to here, kind of at the line of where the text is. Um, so this will probably be done by my next update too, um, I believe. So this one is just a very exfoliating face wash. So I only use it Every so often, I usually use it when I've used a coconut oil as a makeup remover and then I put this on over that to cleanse that off and get any excess makeup and oils and stuff like that off. So um, this is a pretty good exfoliator. I like it better than I thought I would. I don't think that I would ever purchase a full size of this, but it's really a pretty good exfoliator and it smells pretty decent. Next up I have a product that if you watched my Finish 6x Christmas you would have seen. This is the Stila Convertible Color Dual Lip and Cheek Cream Trio. Good gracious, longest name ever. Um, so my goal is just to finish up two of these, so I am almost done with this one, which is Lilium. I have maybe a couple of uses left in it. I had to kind of dig around the edges to get out the excess product, but it is definitely almost done. And then I'm going to move on to this color here, which is either... I think this is Cherry Blossom, is what this one is. Um, so my goal before Cinco de Mayo is to finish up these two both. And then if I finish those up, then I'm going to try to finish this one up after that so that I can get rid of the trio altogether. Um, but I like this quite a bit. It's a nice natural color trio for cheeks. I usually put this on and then put a powder blush over it. And it's going okay. So it should be, this one should be done by Cinco de Mayo, I think, because this one took about three months to use up, I think. So this one should be time just about right to finish at the end of this project. Next up, I have a highlighter. This is the Benefit Watts Up Highlighter. And I've been using this every day. I use it on my cheekbones, down my nose, and on my cupid's bow. It is very, very shimmery, and it's almost a little bit dark for my skin tone, but I blend it out and it's okay. There is a lot of product here, so this is what I have left. Comparing it to my pinky, it is about this much, so about the height of my pinky bottom knuckle, I guess. I'm going to use that as a measurement so I can kind of keep track of how much I have, where I'm at with that. I like this okay. It's a very easy highlighter to use, obviously, because it's in stick form. It's very quick just to glide along my cheekbones and on my face. And then I always set it with a powder highlighter as well. And then I have a face powder that I'm working on. This is the Urban Decay Sharp Ultra Definition Finishing Powder. As I shake it down, I don't know, I can never tell if you guys can see it or not from the viewfinder, but this has about a third of the product left or so. Um, it was about half done when I started this project and I just, I hate the applicator on this and the powder goes everywhere. So it's just like this little powder puff applicator. Um, and I'm noticing as the more I'm using it, the there's like little patches of powder that just appear. But um, I like the powder effect on my face when I actually use it, once it gets blended in. I think it's very natural looking. I had a problem with my Estee Lauder and my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat powder and it made me just look really powdery and cakey and this does not have that problem at all. So I really like the powder in itself. I hate this sample and like the applicator though. So I was looking at the Urban Decay website yesterday and thinking about getting one of their new powder foundations. I will definitely hold on off on that for a while, but 
this I like quite a bit. And then the last thing is kind of a bonus item that I had in my project, and I don't know that this is going to be something that I finish necessarily. I want to at least try to hit pan and move towards using it up, but this is the NARS, so I have a duo here. So this is the Orgasm Blush and the Laguna Bronzer. The Laguna Bronzer is the one that I'm trying to at least hit pan on. Um, so I, if you can kind of see, I have a fair amount of a dip going on here. I use it every day for my contour and my bronzing around the edges of my face and down my neck and chest a little bit. I feel like there's a side over here that's kind of caked up so that it's not like releasing much powder. So I might need to do something with that. It's an okay powder. I'm not super wowed by it. It's not my favorite thing ever. Um, so I'm going to definitely try to use that up so that I can move that out of my collection because I feel bad that I spent so much money on it and then I never reach for it. Um, because I've been reaching for that, I've been reaching for my orgasm blush a little bit more too, which also I'm not super wowed by, but I'm going to work on using those up so that I can get my money's worth out of this compact. And that is it for my Finished Vibe by Cinco de Mayo first update. So if you guys are involved in this project, I would love to see that in the comments below. I would love to go check out your videos or your blogs if you are participating. I think this is just such a great project to use up some of my older products and things that I don't reach for that were more expensive so that I get my money's worth out of them. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.